Hey guys, what is going on? Bleaker here, and today I am presenting to you for the first time ever an exclusive first look at Journey for the Enchanted Crest Open World RPG. An epic adventure. This map was created by Mick underscore five, and I believe I got first dibs on this thing to do initial recordings and just to kind of show you guys what's going on. So, in this video, I'm just going to show you your starting world. I don't want to spoil too much here, but there's an awful lot. Ooh, what's this? Did I miss a chest? I did miss a chest. Oh, for shame. So this is a very awesome Minecraft map. I believe this is the first open world that Mick has ever done. But that's besides the point. For right now, welcome home. This is your starting point. Your... Shit. Nobody saw that. This is your starting point where you begin your quest. You actually begin it up here. You read all the signs, traverse your way down here. There we go. And then there's basically an opening cutscene for you. And it's very well done. But what I am most, like, psyched about here is... Where is it? Ah. This right here. There's teleport books. This particular one takes you into the family vault where you use to store all of the things that you have collected. That's not right. Might as well get my inventory reorganized while I'm down here. It's where you used to collect up and store all of your uh, extra crap, basically. And it is actually very, very cool. As you can see, I have my more than my fair share of extra crap just kind of lingering around here. I have been very busy, like, I guess I'm technically the first, I guess I'm technically the beta tester. I've been exceptionally busy trying to get this thing beta tested and let Mick know, hey, this is what's broken, hey, this is what's good. And you guys kind of get the deal. So, okay, I can organize inventory later. So there's multiple of these TP books. So let's go to... Oh, what's kind of cool. We'll go back to the home on Cactus Island. So that is your primary method of getting around. You actually unlock these as you're playing through the game. So that is actually very cool. And apparently he has put in, I think, roughly 1,800 hours making this, programming it, and testing it himself. I mean, dear God, I've never put 18 hours, 1,800 hours in anything. Not even... League's gotta be getting... My League of Legends has gotta be getting up there. But, ooh, more free shit. I'll just pick that up. It's not gonna do any harm. No. But that's the next island over. I will hopefully cover that in my official walkthrough, but this is just to, like, showcase what all is gone into this. And it is a very... It is just an impressive map. The scale of that... The scale of everything is just unbelievable. And it's remarkable. I am hooked on this map right now. I'm about a quarter of the way through right now. I am going into the... Oh, what is this? The Moldy Dungeon. I'm apparently going to Telfer's house. I don't know who Telfer is. I haven't gotten that far yet. But I am, as soon as I finish this re quick recording up, that's where I'm going. So next thing on the showcase list. One of your st starting areas. This is Grolunk. He just, most of this just serves as starting off to get you free stuff. Except this guy. This guy's an asshole. He charges you for stuff. I don't even know where to get a family jewel from. Actually, no, that's a lie. I did already get that. Scratch that. That guy's not an asshole. Ooh, shoot. Shoot. Almost spoiled the surprise there. But it's really cool. And these right here, I think, were what impressed me the most. If you don't have internet access, those appear as normal Minecraft heads. Yeah, they're, they're Minecraft heads. There's not too much to the starting island, but this is all 100% constructed by Mick. I believe this was copy and paste. This was like a world edit thing. He had access to these trees, and it was just a simple matter of, you know, copy and paste, paste that thing in. But it kind of follows a traditional, for those of you who are familiar with Mick, Mick 5's maps, I will link his Mi Planet Minecraft in the description below. So check that shit out. For those of you familiar, he is heavily inspired by The Legend of Zelda, and... That's really cool because he actually... Well, I suppose I can spoil some more stuff. 
think this is where I need to go. If I spawn into a wall. Ah, perfect. I am right where I need to be. But he's very heavily inspired by the Legend of Zelda, which you can kind of see progress through. And this is actually one of the first dungeons you go to conquer. This is the Fire Dungeon. I mean, it's got a total Mountain Doom thing going on here. But it is freaking amazing. So, I got first dibs on it because I have to create this trailer here pretty soon. I have no clue I'm going to do it. It's just such a huge freaking huge map and there's so much to cover i don't know quite know what to highlight i need to discuss that with him but this is all built and world edited and just incredible scale like my render distance is 11 because that's what it has to be in order to actually use the map and it's still oh, another chest it might have been a trap chest i don't know but just the scale of this is incredible I haven't even explored everything yet. That'll come later. I'll do a flyover and do some more exploration. But I haven't even began to discover everything yet. Because this map this map and scale is so huge. This is only a few of the islands. Netherware. Nether house. Neat. But oh, I'm excited to get back at to get going on this map some more. Because it the scale and it's huge. Like, I've played my fair share of huge maps. I've played Knights of Drabonia, and I think that's still the biggest map that I've played to date. But this one... Hmm. But this one easily rivals it in size. This one could easily rival it in size. It is just huge. I mean, look at that. He built that. 1,800 hours to build all this and program it. This is all done in... This is all done in Redstone. I haven't even explored this portion yet. But all I know is that as soon as I'm done here, I'm getting my ass back on and continuing the playtest. I mean, look at this. Who honestly has this kind of time? It's just an incredible, incredible freaking feat of creation right here. But I don't want to spoil too much more for you guys. If you guys would like to check out this map, I will post a description to the map's webpage along with... Which will also like be linked in with Mixed Planet Minecraft. The map is not available for download yet. It's still in the early testing stages. Okay, early testing stages. I say it's through alpha. Right now I'm beta. Betaing it. Beta. Bait. Ba, ba, ba. I'm a beta tester. I'm going through the beta process right now. There we go. Look at this. Look at that. It's the engineer. Ooh, chest. Nice. More engineer. Look at all the engineer. So much engineer. Oop, I moved the chest. I hope that didn't mess with anything. It's just, it's incredible. So, I highly recommend you check out Mick's channel, or not channel, his Minecraft, his Planet Minecraft page, and you subscribe, because this, when this map hits, it's going to be a huge deal. But that is all the time I have for right now, guys. Until next time, this has been Bleaker. Be seeing ya. Thank <laughs> you.